Did we really need to spend so much money? I'm impressed how well. Okay, I have a magic emblem that has elemental attack, plus 20, increased aggro, blood for battle, and coup de gras. So this one has earth damage, down damage, plus 15%, and coup de gras. I'll lose a little bit of elemental attack, but my spells will deal more damage. So let's do that. You, I made you a mystic crest, my dear. Have fun with that. What did I make you? This fairy ring. Joy. I made you this opal, my dear man. And you're not in the party, so who cares? All level five accessories. Good, good. Balance this thing is. More orange gels, please. Jesus Christ, items are so expensive in this game. Did we really just? We did spend that much money. Quit asking. Spend that much money? How can you do such a thing? I earned it, I'm spending it. Alright, let's see. I'm expecting the fight to be annoying because all of these spirit fights have been annoying so far. The one that wasn't too bad was uh, Undini. And like, Ifrit was just a stupid ad fight. Like, literally all you did was kill his ads and then he died. It was kind of the same with Gnome, except his Gnome's ads are really annoying, and you had to deal with the stupid bird boss. Like, the bird boss... If he was by himself, and you didn't have shit constantly flying across the screen, it wouldn't be bad, but... The Gnome was always shooting out, like, shit that you needed to avoid, and the bird was always shooting shit out that you needed to avoid. And then, like, at half health... He summoned more ads. So it was just a cluster. Definitely a cluster. Procella Silfi. What the hell is that? Please tell me we don't have to fight that. We'll worry about that later. There are things on the ground to deal with first. I don't know what he's doing. He's doing something. I can't see him. You picked the wrong Were we really injured enough for you to do that? We just need to kill the stupid bird. Come on, help me kill him. Oh. <laughs> Can't damage us if we're in the middle of something, dude. Okay, what is, what is he doing? He's doing something. Oh, he rams into the tower and it like stuns us. How annoying. Oh, get rid of him. Okay, there's no more. Okay, what's he doing? What's he doing? What's he doing? Oh, right, it's the fucking tornado thing. Oh, he, he also summons more hands. Why wouldn't he? Uh, we should probably turn off Cyclone from Renwell, shouldn't we? Crossblade, Cyclone, Earthrust. Light burst 
Where is he? Where is he at? Where is he at? They just keep coming. This thing's putting us through our paces. Can you take it? Sylph is lower. Level 68. In a bind. So I'm guessing as soon as this thing reaches fucking half health, he's gonna summon more. Oh, did this stupid thing slam into the side of the fucking thing? Code break! Uh, what is this guy doing? He's just doing shit, right? Oh, so there goes the laser beam. Um, could you not? Like, because she died, fucking... Like, I need to keep her fucking... Oh god, oh god, oh god. What's going on with this? Don't come over here, I'm busy. Stop him. Oh, for fuck's sake, we can't attack him because he's inside the stupid... Okay, this is just a cluster. What, what's he doing? What's he doing? Yes, it's another wave because they're at half health. So the way this game knows how to do difficulty is just to summon more shit and put more shit on the screen. Kill him! Like, he sounds creepy. Oh, the laser beam! Oh, just fucking kill these dudes, man. Yes. Music is too loud. I can hear it through my headphones. No, I'm streaming. I stream every day for four and a half hours. What? I can hear it. It's like, it's never enough for some people. A newborn future, the past is hereby severed. Like, no matter how many times you tell them that you're doing something, right? Oh, oh, God damn it. Now it's my turn. 
He didn't wait for the rest of us. What the hell? Oh, it's me by myself, of course. Why wouldn't it be? How annoying. There's still something alive over here. Like, fuck off, dude. I realized I had to do it by myself. That was a pretty sweet fight, like at the end. Like, it wasn't too obnoxious. We did it. Yeah, the astral energy is dispersing. Whew, that was harrowing. Now that we've taken care of that light, I guess. Yeah. The Bayfawn. I'm fine. I'm a freak that doesn't belong on Dana or Rena. What the fuck are you I'm talking sure. about? We just Maybe learned that everybody was like, I your entire family was abducted. Not really like that, Everyone but all mages were used to make Renans. Like, what the fuck yeah, are you talking about? That, I, I hate this shit. Over 300 years ago. Join the club. <laughs> I have my thorns. I don't belong Kisara anywhere. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? They literally use mages to make Renans. You guys. Um, uh... Too much information, Law. Yeah, but Alpha. Use the You do that thing where you grind your teeth really loudly in your sleep. I don't see how that's. Well, at least it's not as bad as when. When I what? Whoa, guys! Jesus, we're just gonna Ooh, point out each other's faults. About this? You're the one who made this weird. Thanks, everyone. I need to be better at not keeping this stuff up, but I'm gonna work on it. <laughs> I'm a freak. She's like, shut up already. I wonder if she perceives being a mage to be a source of continual obligation. <laughs> Look at that, 100k, baby. Pretty much I got us two levels. Left. Sometimes I think it might have been I wonder how much experience we get from uh So at this point, those birds. it's safe to say we've beaten all of those things that we saw flying out of the wedge. Yeah? Yes. There were four lights, so that should be all of them now. They put up a good fight, but we beat them right back down again. Huh? Weren't you even a little scared while we were fighting them? <laughs> Before we fought Gnome, that would only be in 50k. But we still managed to beat them with our own hands. That's what matters here. Yeah, exactly. <sighs> I do hope that really is the last we see of them. Each one seemed to be unique. But it's like, I don't mean to be mean to, to people, element. right? It's like, it's not unreasonable. It's like, you want to listen to music, that's one thing. But you want to listen to music so loud that Wouldn't my mic agree? picks it up. 
Like, that's just unreasonable. Why did you look at Dohan Like, I've never like said that. that they couldn't listen to no their music. Reason. All I, I ask is that you keep I it to a reasonable level. By explaining it. But it's never I know enough how much he loves to do that. for you that know person. Him well at this point. Because we're so close to level 69, Giggity. But that's not why I want to get that level. It's just... I don't like seeing that we're so close to leveling up and then not leveling. But that wasn't too bad. It was like a little annoying, but not nearly annoying. Not nearly as annoying as... Excuse me, the gnome fight. That shit was stupid. I don't imagine these birds are going to give a whole lot of experience now. But if they still get 15k, this might be enough to get us to 69. And then we can try the group arena again, and then see what that 99 one is, because I'm getting a feeling that uh, it's a cameo battle of some kind. And if that's the case, the fact that they ask us to be 99 for it makes me wonder just how fucking hard it is. You're trying to get a kill from me. You should have said something. Oh, he's still alive. You couldn't even get the job done. Oh, yeah, we're only getting like, shh, damn. It's about half of what we were getting before, but that's fine. See, we could have got more, maybe, had we just like got to 67 killing these dudes. And we still would have got the 100k from Sylph because he's level 70. But it's fine, 69 is a decent level. Not for the meme number that it is, but because it's pretty good level, you know. We gotta go to Bayfon. That dude is in Niaz, correct? That's that dude who was Dead Eye's friend or something. And, like, these characters don't matter. They, in the, in the long run, they didn't matter who any of these side characters were. Looks like we made it here in one piece. Crap! It's you freaks again. What are you doing in Niaz? Did you stalk me all the way here? Right. No, I asked him to look for you and check out that light. You're talking to none other than the Blazing Sword and his crew. Indeed we are. To that end, we've come to inform you that the matter has been addressed. Worry no more. Oh, great, thanks. But I still don't like the look of that girl. You should take her with you and get her out of our realm now. As you hey. wish. Torvin, what the hell? Why are you picking on this girl? Because she's a Danon who can use astral arts. How? Is that yeah. true? Well, I've never heard of... That's because we always lived in hiding. I'm the only one of us left, so you don't have to worry about anyone else. Why you? She's a monster. A monster's gonna invite more disaster if she stays here. Now get the hell out of here. Wait. 
Why are you so afraid of her over a simple astral art? Surely you were accustomed to the sight of Renan's once employing them here, even if it was unfortunately to harm you all. Why shun her so vehemently when she's one of your own kind? What? Because, because Danids like her aren't supposed to exist. I see. So you fear her because she defies common sense. All right, but aren't you all just as unusual in your own right? You all overthrew a Renan lord and now run this realm yourselves. That's not supposed to happen either, now is it? Huh? Well, yeah, but... Mm. History is made by those who defy conventional wisdom. Those who stand on the front lines are often deemed deviants in their time. In that sense, both of you here are rather unusual, yet you're both united in your desire to free Dana of its Renan subjugation. Why, one might go so far as to say you two are comrades in arms. <laughs> you sure have a way with words. I don't think you're going to win this fight, Torvin. Look, she's done a lot. She was able to track down that light and even helped rescue you. You should be glad we have someone like her on our side. She's a great asset with her powers. Mm. All right, I won't claim I put it entirely behind me, but I won't ask you to leave Mahogsar any longer. You're welcome to stay here as long as you wish. I'll make sure you're taken care of. It's the least I can do to repay you. Thanks. Oh, uh, great. Thank you. Wait. Huh? I kindly ask that you dare not to attempt to lure my esteemed colleague away from us. She is a rare soul who truly appreciates the history and culture of this world, as do I. Talking to her brings true joy to my life. I would therefore rather not lose that companionship, thank you very much. Really? <laughs> You're a funny guy, you really are. So you and she share similar hobbies, huh? I've got to admit, the more I talk to you, the more normal she looks in comparison. I like you, Renan. You're alright. I finished my work for the day. What do you say we grab a drink together? Good. Yes, let's. I was just thinking of doing the same, but why stop at one? Let us drink the night away, my friend. All right. Now you're talking. You're all welcome to tag along, too. Today's drinks are on me. Oh, yeah, prejudice and all that. Maybe it's not so bad being a mage after all. What matters is that I found people who accept me for who I am. Mage or not, as long as I have that, I think I'll be okay. And after everything they've done for me... I guess I can't say it matters if they're Renan or not, either. Good sir, what would I, what would uh, you do if I were to tell you that you are a Renan? 